Hello, in this video we're going to create a camera and um, line it up with our reference. So it'll look like something like this. So if you are not in one of my classes, take a screenshot of this um, image and um, if you are in my class or once you've downloaded this, please put it in your source images um, folder in your project. And I'm just going to move it off to the side. So the first thing, um, I'll need to create a new camera. So I'm going to go to Panels, perspe Perspective, and New. And I'm going to click out of it because there's this bug that if you rename it while in the camera, it seems to freeze up Maya. So I'm going to switch back to Perspective. And that new camera is Perspective 1. I'm just going to rename this Render Cam render camera and just click on that and make sure I'm moving so as if it's working and then click on to render camera and start moving around so we'll need to have the resolution gate on um, but let's check our render settings so go up to render settings click on that and then go over go down here uh, renderable camera we'll probably want that to be render camera and make sure that you are on HD 540 or HD 720 or 1080. Let's start with 540, that way we're just iterating faster in our renders. Um, but those are the three that you probably should be on most of the time. And then I'm just gonna close this out and then go up to here to our resolution gate, click on that so that we get the good framing um, if it's not gray, that option's right next to that area there. Um, so now let's bring in our image plane. So go to view, image plane, import image. And I put that somewhere in here, right here, and hit open. And if you're having a hard time seeing things, um, remember we can hit four. And what I'm looking at when I'm doing this, I'm gonna turn off my grid because it's kind of confusing all the lines. So click on that. And I'm looking at how this is, um, I'm not scaling anything, I'm just moving my camera around. I'm gonna to try to get my corner of my table right there. And then I'm lining up where the table is going and just kind of rotating it until I get about how the table is laid on here. Um, the objects on top are not um, good yet, or they're not placed right and not scaled correctly, but um, they're probably not going to be exact. And I can also go over here to x ray if that's more helpful and just trying to line up things. I'm going to turn that off and go to this and look at it. So I'm checking to see how this edge is lining up with that edge, and that will be over here. I think that works. This is going down here. Um, so yeah, I think that works pretty well. Um, and now, once I figured that out, I am going to go over and lock my camera. So go up here and say, click lock. Um, and if I go to my um, actual camera here, you'll see that that makes these kind of grayed out here. If in, if this is still um, another way that you can do this instead of clicking on this, you can select all these parameters, right click and say lock selected. And if you want to unlock them, you can right click, select all of them and say unlock also. So that's a way that you can kind of lock different pieces. You can do that with models, that kind of thing. And just in case you're afraid that it's not, um, you, you want something to not be changed and you're being very careful about it. Um, so now I am going to move things around. So I'm gonna take this. This one um, is gonna be a bit different since I didn't match it perfectly. 
and the perspective is wrong on the image. So you have to watch out for bad perspective. I drew this, so I know that I didn't do this perfectly. So I'm going to I'm going to select all that and group it by hitting control G and then I'm going to move it. Um, I'm going to go up to modify and say center pivot and so that it moved my pivot all the way up there. I'm just going to move it this way and I'm going to go over to perspective. And the reason why we have two different cameras is um, for our perspective and render camera, because it takes a lot of work to line things up. And I don't, I need it. I need a perspective camera to work. So like go in here and move my pivots and model and not have to worry about having to change my render camera back to the, the correct position. So I'm just moving that to the base, move that pivot point. Um, and then I'm just gonna move this scale up from the base so it gets kind of somewhat close to that. So for this piece, I also didn't like worry about too much about making it exactly the same as the design. Um, sometimes that is a thing that you should do, but for this, I just wanted to get a better, just make it a little bit easier project than matching perfectly. So I'm just selecting things, just rotating them a bit. I'm keeping that liquid that way. And if I want, I can always adjust this. Maybe I want that to be bigger. Um, I can do that if I want, and that's kind of lining up. Um, and then I'm gonna select my skull Make sure you have the teeth and the, the skull. And then I'm gonna probably scale it up, be closer, something like this. Now I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna hit five and see how that's all kind of lining up. It's looking okay. Rotate a bit. There we are. And now I'm gonna go back to my perspective camera and just check to see if things are hovering too much or going through the geometry too much. The teeth might be going a little too much. Let's get, rotate this up a bit. I'm hitting plus to give me more fine control. Something like this. And then this. Make sure that's kind of going like that. And yeah. Um, and then now we can do a test render and see how this is all kind of working together. I'll pause it while I render it. Um, so if, you, if it comes in and it comes in in the perspective, so if you click on this, you can change this to render cam shape and that's your render cam. Now, if I hit this plus or this play, then you should start rendering out things. So I'll pause it while it does that. All right, and so it finished rendering and it looks like something like this. And um, I'll see you in the next video.